Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Neverwinter Nights. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today here in this very pretty place, um, here by the stream, and as we go inside, or I think we go inside, yes, it's open. Uh, so let's go inside and see if we can figure out what exactly, oh, oh yeah, that's right, this is the nymph's home. Uh, see if we can figure out what exactly is causing all the animals to attack the druids. Uh, you know, you never know. Oh, this one is locked. Can you guys please not do what you're about to do, please? Thank you. Uh, so you, you never know. Maybe it's the animals that just really, really are really upset with the druids for whatever reason. Maybe it's not. It probably isn't, actually. But let's see what I can do here. Why is this locked, though? I mean, why is it... Not the outside door that's locked. And that was a very easy lockpick. Okay. I see what's going on. Hello. And what? A nymph slave. Oh. Okay. So. This. Okay. So. Goddess, take you now! My head just went through a bunch of different possibilities there. Uh, so, when I said I see what's going on here, well, basically I was right in my assessment, or I think I am right, uh, which is that this is an actual dungeon. This is a dungeon that we're here. Uh, no, nothing right now. We'll see you later. Uh, this is a dungeon that we're doing right now. Uh, that's why it's so big. It's not a house. This is a freaking zoo. Uh, but uh, the thing is, I thought for a moment that maybe the nymph was, you know, uh, the, the intro. Perish as you should. Uh, but considering in that the we're seeing of nymph slaves here. Uh, I think the nymph might be at the root of this situation. Uh, but let's find out, shall we? These guys are pretty tough, though. Okay. Let's see if I can do... What what spells do I have here? Uh, mm, sign spell. I have the mm, counter spell. No. That's the one. Cantrips. No. Level ones. Yeah, I just have the summon... Summon little things. And that's okay. So this one is dead. I think, yeah, I was kind of trying to help her, but there's no need for that. As of right now. Okay. Pretty good. We're not going to be able to sleep in here, most likely, because there's a lot of rooms around, and this is just going to give us a little bit of experience. Speaking of, <clears throat> of which, let, um, yeah, we're pretty close to leveling up, which is nice. It's been a while since we did. Uh, well, a few episodes, probably like six, yeah. seven episodes so far, uh, yeah. since we were in the mines and leveled up and Die became a thief. Die and be forgotten. Be forgotten. Man, that is... Yeah. That has, uh, it's been a while since I saw that one, or I heard that one. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Yeah. That's the stuff. Okay, that, that one got stunned for a little while longer. Okay, they're coming. Oh, from the next room over. Okay. Bye bye me. I'm gonna need a little bit of a heal over here, please. That's a heal success right there. Let me see. Oh, this is not going well. This is not going well. Okay, I'm gonna take the opportunity to not be there. <laughs> Stick a potion there before I die. Oh, of course, you had to bring me back a little bit. I think. Yeah, my friends are handling the situation well enough. Well enough. Um. Yeah, things are going well on the other on the other room. On this one, I. Oh, look at that. They came to help me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Taste Do they have, like, spellcasters or anything like that? Hopefully not. Okay, Adapa is doing her thing. I'm just gonna switch weapons here, because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to help. There we go. Got some sneak attacks in. Seriously, you need to go around. The what? No, I'd rather... Please not. No. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what we have over here. Uh, one gold. Fantastic. Did, did it actually say one... Did it say... Did he say gold pieces? Oh, come on, guys. Don't be like that. Just don't be like that. Okay, so I think we... Yeah, we're not going to be able to sleep in here. Just wait until that orange icon icon goes away. There we go. So we can do this. I wonder where the roll is made. It's If it's at the beginning or at the end. I guess we could put that to test, but... Eh. Uh, what do we have? Cat's Grace over here that is going to go into that. Uh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's do it like Cat's Grace. There we go. And then there's uh, Owl's Wisdom. That goes over there. I also have Potion of Lore. That goes over here. Looks very much like wine, but that's okay. Okay, and uh, there's the next room over. Oh, we might be able to sleep in here. No, we have a door over there. Let's give it a try. Yep, of course. Of course. Okay, these things hopefully are not trapped. Yeah, gold piece. Okay, so yeah, it didn't say gold pieces when it was singular. It just says gold piece when it's plural. Makes sense. 
It's fine. That is a really easy thing to change. It's just they never. Get, this is a really easy thing to program. Come on. It's. I mean, I get that it's an exception to the rule and all that because you know stacks and how they behave. We got clarity over here. Okay. Let's put it over there. See if I have space for it. I think I see faces. Yes, indeed. Okay. This one is locked. Let's see. Let's find out. There's things in there. Okay, I say there's things in there. There might not be. Oh, there is. A human slave. Oh, protect the mistress. Kill the intruder. Yeah. Okay, so that kind of sheds a different light, doesn't it? On the wall situation. It might be that she hasn't just simply enslave all these guys to attack the druids for whatever reason. will be ours! It might just be that she's protecting herself. Oh, yeah. No, please. No more. I surrender. Okay, guys. Seriously. Don't do anything else. Hey there. Oh, I don't know what is going on. Where am I? Where are my clothes? What? What, you, what do you mean, your clothes? You, you got you got yourself clothes? Look at that. It's a cloth. <laughs> uh, what? Are, yeah, what are you talking about? And why did you attack me? Oh, I don't remember attacking you. I don't even know who you are or where this is. The last thing I remember is walking through the wood trying to figure out what went wrong with all the animals. I, I have avoided uh, several bears and a few... I had avoided several bears and a few boars, but I was getting very tired. I stumbled into an open glade and... I saw, I think I saw a woman, uh, a beautiful woman, yes, that's it, uh, that's the last thing I remember, next thing I, next thing I know, you were attacking me, uh, although you say I was the one who attacked, but this is all very confusing, uh, do you know, do you remember anything about your captivity? No, I don't remember a thing, sorry, uh, well, let's see if I can, uh, let's ask you, let me ask you some questions about what you knew before you were captured, what did you discover about what is happening to the animals in the wood? Or in the woods, he said something else. Uh, what did you, uh, I will try, yeah, okay. So, um, there is nothing much to tell, he says. Uh, I couldn't speak to them or calm them. They are just extremely hostile. I, I never had the opportunity to find out more. Yeah, I wonder if I can animal, em uh, animal empathy them. Um, I think I might be able to. Uh, so yeah, there are some druids missing. Do you know what happened to them? I haven't the slightest idea. Perhaps you should search this place, but be careful, since they might attack you too, if they're like I was. Yeah, if they're like you were, they're gonna stop attacking me uh, right as soon as they get to barely, barely wounded, so it's fine. Uh, so I heard about a witch named Satara. What do you know about her? I have heard a little bit about her, she, he says. She likes to help the forest creatures, but she doesn't have much contact with people. There is some story about how she used to be beautiful, but suddenly turned ugly. That's all I know about her. Okay, yeah, so that might, mm, okay. Yeah, I've heard that before. But it might be in relation to the woman he saw that it was beautiful. Mm, maybe. Or maybe it might be in relation to the nymph that lives in here that is protecting herself from the witch. And that might be the reason why the witch is using the animals to attack the nymph to get herself some surgical enhancements and stuff. I don't know. Oh, we'll see how things go. Um, so, uh, yeah. All right. You should get out of here now. Oh, thank you. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah. You. Off with you. Okay. So we're not in combat despite the soundtrack. Let's um, open this thing. There's nothing else over here. We might get a journal. Even though it would be a little bit weird. But you never know with these things. Uh, and uh, we have nothing. Okay, we just have a little bit of gold. And of course, uh, do we get experience from opening the locks? I don't think we do. We do. Uh, okay, so let's save the game there. Cannot rest. Well, I'll try to... Yeah, cannot rest. Mm, let's not go there right now. Let's go this way first. Open. What do we have? No enemies! We have a library with gold in the shelves, because why not? And a locked chest over here. Yeah, this is really nice. This is really nice, being able to open the locks, open the locks, my god, what a difference it makes! What a difference it makes! Uh, okay, what else do we have over here? Let's see if I can rest. I can! Fantastic! Okay, everybody comes back to full health. Got ourselves a locked chest. And there's some things back there. I don't think they're going to have anything. Uh, any enemies, I should say. We have ourselves the Potion of Invisibility that I have never ever used. But might need to use in the future. Okay. A little bit of gold. That was well hidden, that one. And we got that bookshelf over there. I think I've been to that one. Yeah. We have the Imp's Prison. That's the second Imp's Prison that I get. Right? What is it? What is it? Popular Legends, ah, it's, a, ter it's a, a book, it's a terrible book, just drop it, seriously, oh my god, it's the action, 
it's the action. What? No, wait a minute. What? Oh, I dropped the book already. Okay. Good stuff. It's not the action. It's just, uh, once you do the animation, you don't need to do it again. So you can immediately drop the book. You can, like, pre-drop a book, which sounds amazing. Oh, by the way, these guys were... <laughs> what is... Is that supposed to... <laughs> That's kind of funny. If that vase was supposed to be uh, round, they really skimped <laughs> on the polygons there. <laughs> <laughs> so be, that's funny. I think it is funny. Uh, but I don't think it was supposed to be round. They, they do have, like, that's a little bit less skimpy on the, on the, uh, on the polygons. Uh, okay, so let's go, let's take this route over here. Because, you know, the, the more, the, the less... Oh. Really? Babukpa? I... Oh, we got a red pixie and a normal pixie. What is that? Oh, it is a little pixie! Oh no! Oh no! Look at them! It's just... Why are they... Uh... Well... They're going down! What exactly is going on? Oh! This is lovely! I should be able to save... What exact... What? No, wait a minute. Do they have names or do they have... Is that their class? Because that one is not attacking me. So I think I'm protecting the Pixie or the Nixie. Yeah, Nixie. This one is Grig. Oh, they kind of confuse me or something? Yeah. Well, it def they definitely confuse my friends. Okay, we're good. What do we have here? Fairy dust. Yeah. Three gold. Nice. And that's. Hey. Sulna? Sulna? Oh, Zosigo, Sanko, Zikiko, I, I don't know how to imitate Simlish. Although, we're still in combat for some reason. Okay. That wand is the wand of summoning and all that sort of stuff. Let's get back here. This place looks nasty. Okay, seriously. What is going on? Yeah, we won't be in combat for too long. Uh, so let's get this in here. Right there. There we go. And then this goes in. Not there. What? There. There we go. Okay, can we talk to the pixie? Is she gonna be PC about this whole thing? Because she really shouldn't be. I say she, but I never know if it's... I mean, do they have only one gender? Or how does it go? I have no idea. Sulna? What? Why? What? With their webbed fingers and toes, the tiny Nixies... Oh, wait a minute. So that's a that's a that's an actual race. Um, are well suited to their amphibious lifestyle. It's rare to find one far from its uh, lakeshore home. Uh, okay. I can't do anything else over here. So... Sorry, I killed your friends? Uh, I think? I don't know, they attacked me. They cast web on me, or whatever that was. It's not like I feel really, really sorry. But, you know, kind of my bad, I guess. If, if, I suppose. You know, it's, I, I suppose they might have been their friends. It's kind of weird that she didn't attack me, but you never know. Yeah, just a bunch of these guys. And these are actual pixies. Talented illusionists and irreverent pranksters, pixies make their home in hallowed trees and rocky grottoes deep within the forest. Okay, so they're... Are we getting actually experience from this? Yeah, we are. Nine experience. So maybe... Maybe they are just really... Kind of... Mean. And not really... Friends of anybody. Yeah, I'm... I'm six, oh, there's a trap over there. Where are you guys going? Stop that! Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's why we're in combat, because of that particular uh, ability. Can't rest? Oh, really? Ah, oh, okay. Well, doesn't matter. Let's continue. Look me around. We have a... Oh, come on! Seriously? Get out of there, guys. Yeah, that lasts for a, l a long while. Where are you going? Did she suddenly turn aggressive? Nope. She just decided that she had enough. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a spell that they cast, the, the pixies do, so I have no idea what that is all about. Let's see if I can open this without dying. Did I save? I did save. Very nice. I took, yeah, I took the damage. We have ourselves a copper ring! Uh, that's definitely worth the trouble of killing a few pixies and taking five points of damage. Let's see what I can do here. No traps, hopefully. Doesn't look like it. There we go. Terrari. There's enemies, though. Ah, another dominated slave, she says. Or he says. Wait. Hello. Oh, dear. 
I see the nymph has bewitched another one. Wait, you don't have the look of one beguiled by her sorcery? Uh, well, I, no, I'm not. I have control of my own mind. Who are you? My name is Terari. I am a druid of the Neverwinter Wood Grove. And uh, who are you, good sir? Uh, I am Giladel Valongar, and uh, I will send me to rescue you. Oh, then I owe both Owl and you a debt of honor. I only wish I had gotten further on my mission to save the spirit of the wood. Uh, how far did you get? I didn't even get very far. I thought that uh, although the animals were not communicating, the nymphs might be a good source of information. They may be fighty, but I thought that they would be strong enough. Uh, they would have strong enough minds to resist the spirit's madness. I came to this house first since I had... Uh, Mm. Known this particular nymph in the past, see, she seemed uh, very pleased to see me, eager even. I was hoping to get some information from her without, um, well, going into her house. Why didn't you want to enter her house? Well, somewhere in the back of my mind, a part of me was worried why she never actually used my name, even though we have known each other for quite a while. It seemed odd. Unfortunately, I was not thinking clearly. I guess I was just certain, uh, just certain that I could handle anything she tried. When we got into her house, she suggested that I get undressed. And while I was doing that, of course, because why wouldn't I, she cast a spell on me. Uh... You... What? Um... Mm, I guess she knew how to manipulate you, didn't she? Well, next thing I knew, I was uh, locked in here, unable to escape. The nymph hasn't uh, harmed me, she just won't let me go. Before she enters the room, she gets some kind of spell I woke up, uh, and I wake up later with no memories of what happened. Now that you have freed me, I must return to the grove to discuss the spirit of the wood with the other druids. Maybe the others have learned more than I have. Uh... Hmm... Yeah, I'm trying to help with that. Uh, what have you learned about the spirit of the wood? I do not know why, but there is madness in the spirit, and it is infecting the wood. It even affected the nymphs, so the madness must have powerful hold, a powerful hold. I do not know that, uh, I do know, he says, that in order to get to the spirit, you will have to find a way to the enter the pool that will, uh, that uh, it used to come through to get into our... Into and out of the wood. Before she cast the spell, the nymph did mention that the spirit hasn't been here in quite a while. Why hasn't the spirit come? She didn't say why, she just said that the spirit hasn't come out of the pool in a while. Nymphs don't have a very good grasp of time. The pool is some kind of entrance to another realm where the spirit usually lives. I haven't the slightest idea what the other realms look like. Uh, why didn't you go into it? No living creature can get through the portal and into the other realm. That is what some of the oldest stories of my people say. The stories say that the portal exists between the realm of life and death. The spirit exists as some sort of half-life, so she can go back and forth through the portal. But we can't. Uh, so do you have any suggestions of what I should do? Well, I should try to find the others and see if they know any more. There is also a witch named Satara in the wood, who might know something. I was going to talk to her after the, uh, after the nymphs. Beyond that, I have no idea how to cure the spirit, but I need to be... I need... Uh, but, but it needs to be done soon, before some rash adventurer decides to kill off everything in the forest. Uh... So are you able to get out of here on your own? I can make it out of my own. I will meet up with you at the Druid Grove. Thank you again, and good luck. Yep, you as well, man. Just be sure to be a little bit more discernible about what you try to, uh, tap. Let's put it like that. Even though they tell you to, uh, get undressed, you shouldn't just do it. You should, you need to be a little bit more discernible, man. Seriously? Is that, uh, seriously? Anyway. Get a, get a, get a grip. Get a grip! Ah, well. So, yeah, the fact that they didn't use the name... Thank you, Lino, for teleporting over here. The, de the fact that the nymph didn't use the name kind of probably means that the nymph has been... Uh, doppelganger? That's a very common thing in, in these games. Doppelgangers are just, you know, oh, didn't mean to press that key. Uh, doppelgangers are just, you know, the, the, the way things are done. Um, but yeah, well, it might be the case, it might not be. I guess we'll see. Uh, there's a portion of lesser restoration. We have another one over here that goes in there. There we go. So, moving on. Uh, so, I'm thinking... That is a different area. But let's go through here. So we need to get into the pool. It sounds like that would be the pool, right? Okay, that was not a save. That was a terrible, terrible win. Not a win at all. Hi! How's it going, guys? Yeah, come and get me. Come and get me. Yeah, no, no. See, oh, freaking hell. There we go. Nice. Oh, don't attack me. Oh, did I get killed or something? 
Or did I just have too much health? Eh, I don't know. I think I got healed. Uh, hello, sir. That guy's stuck over there, so not really a problem. Sneak attacking you right now. That's not a good name for that particular attack. <laughs> Especially in a situation like that one that we just saw. That was not a sneak attack. <laughs> in the name of Sandy Oh, that's such a weird name. But there we go. It is the name. It is the rules. Okay, so that's a kill. Uh, so we're, yeah, we're gonna need to open all this stuff. Probably not gonna be able to rest, but I'm... Yeah, there it is. So let's see what we have over here. In this armoire? It sounds a little bit like... Oh, Lock of Nim's Ear. Okay, I think that's for upgrades and stuff like that. Uh, it sounds a little bit like Armory, doesn't it? It, it, it sounds to me. Uh, let's see what I can do over here. Lock of Nim's Ear, I believe it goes over there. Uh, fire Agate, Garnet, uh, I have the Healer's Kit that goes in there. Nope, right there, okay. And we have, oh, that one is not locked. Hopefully it's not trapped either. Okay, potion of... Hey there, dear. Hey. What can I... Nope, nothing, it's fine, see you later. What do we have here? Nothing, okay. So in that case, uh, that's a knock that goes in there. Well, I'll look into that, and that goes in here. Okay. Just put it over there, and then I'll, I'll sort it out later. Uh, so this has nothing. Not even a marker. There's nothing. Okay. So, yeah. That's Lino. Lino got stuck. Uh, we also need to sleep. Can we sleep? We cannot sleep over here. I'm thinking there's going to be enemies in the room like that. Um, and uh, I'm probably not going to be able to get a distance between me and them. I eh, should be okay. Uh, sleeping now actually wouldn't be pro probably wouldn't be a, ver a very good idea, considering that I have the buffs and all that sort of stuff. Yep. Let the earth take you. Let's take out the ranger first with my sneak attacks. I will answer any threat you bring. Oh, you will answer. Yeah, that's, I, I never doubted that for a second. Yeah, bury that, man. Bury that. There we go. Cleave hit right there. No, that's not going to go for the sneak attacks, but there we go. So they were sleeping in here, the poor guys. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they... Oh, man. Why did they bring... What? What is that supposed to be? Seriously, <laughs> why do they have a huge stone in here? Oh, look at that! I didn't die. Um, yeah, sure. The uh, they're big. Fa they, were were they trying to build a statue? Helms hold. Don't need to know that. Uh, bolt of lightning. That's pretty good. And we got an amethyst over there to sell later. What do we have? Uh, bullets. Uh, water deep. A book about water deep. Also, let's sleep. Cannot sleep. Okay, it's fine. Doesn't matter. We have, uh, there's a huge room in here. Let the earth take you! Woohoo! Okay, so I thought that we might find a nymph in here, but there's three doors over there that we're gonna need to go to. Oh, that's, that was a really nice stun right there. There we go. Thank you for the heal. Yeah, it's so good to have. Ooh, nasty critical hit. But she got a sneak attack. Let's see if I can do this. What, what's she gonna do over there? Critical hit. That's what she's gonna do. Oh my god, that guy's almost dead. She. That was with a single critical hit. She brought him down to a, <laughs> to almost dead. A single one. Where's Adipa? Ah, well, God, if I know. Uh, seriously, I have no idea where she is. Uh, we've got a potion of lore over here that I'm gonna bring over there. And we're gonna worry about that later. I think this should allow us to rest. Indeed, it does. Adipa is nowhere to be seen. Not an issue. Save the game. What do we have over here? A crate. A crate. We have arrows as well, which is really nice. Because we need those. Uh, I kind of want to have a, a, a nice stack. I'm handling myself over here. Just having the sword. It's a pretty good thing. It's a pretty good thing. Uh, the next level up I'm going to do is I'm, is I'm just probably going to go with uh, another ranger. Um, see if I can reach level 9, I think, or level 12. I, there's a certain level where, where rangers really need to go to. Or we really need to reach, and after that I'm gonna probably focus on um, on mage. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. I think it's level 11 that you should... That basically you get... Uh, oh, this is three doors to the same room. Oh. And there's a non-aggressive nymph over here. I wonder if she's gonna treat me by my name. Not that she would, because she has no idea what it is. No, I will not allow you to kill me. Nature's creatures must be protected. Oh, so she's naked, sort of. Not really, but as you can tell over there by the portrait, she's kind of, yeah. Uh, now you are mine. Oh, am I? Am I? Foolish men, 
I don't know why you thought you could just steal into my home, kill my slaves and destroy another of nature's protectors, but now you have fallen to my charms. Now bow to your mistress. Uh... <laughs> what? <laughs> that inside there... Hmm. So, that didn't work. Uh, yes, mistress, what is your command? First, you can go and clean up any mess you made while getting in here. You mean, resurrect your servants? Maybe. Uh, after that, you can go and collect all the chamber pots and clean them out. Before you go, I want you to put on the, this cute little outfit. Uh... Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm not wearing that. It's pink. What? How dare you talk back to me? You're th my unthinking sla- You- You tricked me? No! How is this possible? What has happened to my powers? Uh, well... I have I've been attacked several times in your home. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you now. You, you you well actually and you tried to enslave me. Give me another good reason why I shouldn't kill you now. You mean you didn't come here to destroy me? No, I came here to talk and was attacked before I had a chance. Why would you think I came here to kill you? Oh, this is terrible. I I'm so sorry, but I was certain that you oh I don't know why I thought that now. There's nothing I can do to make up for this. I was wrong. How is that possible? You were here to kill me, that was what I thought the moment I felt your presence near my tree. I I just wanted to stop you. Could you ever forgive me? Uh, well, you know, I can forgive you, I guess, but I expect you to help me in any way you can now. Oh, thank you, Master. You are very kind. I will do whatever I can to help you. I just wish I still had my powers. I don't know why they have become so weakened. Uh, well, and wrong, not just weakened, but how long have you been having trouble? A couple of weeks ago, I was down by the river, watching the fish jump, when I felt the presence of danger. I looked around and scrambled up the bank and into a grove of trees. I couldn't see anything, yet the fear crept growing. Suddenly, there was a scream in my mind that felt like someone had stabbed a dagger into my brain. I was overcome by the power of, of it, and I fell to the ground unconscious. When I woke up, the fear was still there, and the sense that the whole forest was in pain. What could have caused that? It was the spirit of the wood. I have been sensing its pain and fear ever since that day. It is constant screaming. It is constantly screaming for help. It is all I can do to keep my sanity. Indeed, I, I guess you have experienced just how I am losing that battle. As time passed, I began to keep myself closer to home. Until recently, I have not even been able to leave my room. So great is the fear. Well, if it's so bad, then why don't you leave? It is not that simple. It's not as simple as that. This tree is my home. I have been here for centuries. I feel as though every person who, com who comes along is a danger to both my home and myself. The first time a person came near my tree, I took him with my powers and kept him to guard my home. The next few were easy too, but they started to get harder and harder. Now I have no power left, and as you can see, I don't know what to do now. Uh, well... If I'm going to help you, I need to get to the spirit of the wood. Do you know how I could do that? I don't think that's possible. The spirit is a creature of both life and death, and only he can enter the portal to the other realm. Uh... What does that mean, both life and death? The spirit lives on another realm, somewhere between the world of the living and the world of the dead. It is the only creature on this plane who can enter the portal. The portal is in a pool, below a waterfall, but finding it won't help you. It wouldn't help anyone. Uh... Are you sure that the spirit is the only creature to have to ever enter the pool? Well, several have tried, but no, that that's not a good solution. Forget it. The spirit is the only one who can do so successfully. Yeah, you're going to say something else. You must tell me, please. Well, there was a druid a long time ago who claimed that he had a, a f figured out how to enter the spirit's realm. He said he had been studying it for years and had finally placed it together or pieced it together. He didn't tell me how he was going to enter, but I was curious, so I followed him. When he went to the pool and built an altar, uh, and d but then he did the strangest thing. He took out a dagger and plunged it into his own chest. His body slipped below the surface of the water, but then I went over to the pool and it was gone. Maybe he made it to the realm, but if he was dead when he got there, I am not sure it was worth it. Others have tried it, it through the years, but their bodies just lay there decomposing. Well, most of the others. What do you mean, most of the others? A dwarf came here a few weeks ago, she says. He was fierce and mean and seemed immune to my charms. He asked, well, because they are probably gone. Uh, he asked me about the dagger that the druid had used to kill himself. I don't know how he knew about the druid, but I had kept a dagger as a keepsake of the druid. When he threatened, when he threatened me, 
I gave it to him. Wait a minute, so that's why the other ones all died. You idiot! It's the dagger! Hmm. I never saw the dwarf again, she says, but shortly before everything started going wrong in the forest, I found the dagger in the front in front of the altar. And the dwarf was not in the pool. No, now that you mention it, his corpse wasn't there. Yeah, I need that dagger. Do you have it? I brought it back here, but I don't remember where I put it, because the because the pain hit me before I, it, I made it back here. I'm sure it's somewhere in my house, though. If you look around, you should be able to find it, but you shouldn't use it. I don't want another death on my hands. They are so bloody already. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Is, is there anything else uh, you can tell me that might help? I can't think of anything else that would help, but I will answer any questions you have. Uh, so what do you know about the witch, Satara? Oh, she's a terribly ugly old crone. Really, and you're a terribly shadow old, old woman, I suppose, because... There, she's an inf, so I'm not really sure how that goes, but yeah. You don't want to have anything to do with her. I can't even bear to look on her, so I refuse to allow her anywhere near my tree. I don't even like to talk about her. It disturbs me that much. Are you freaking... Oh, the, my... I mean, it's... it's uh, yeah. Uh, is there anything else? Yeah. Could you tell me... Uh, no, no, don't tell me your story. That's all I can think of for now. Farewell. Oh, good luck in your quest. I am truly sorry for the harm I brought you and for the death of my slaves, for which I am wholly to blame. Yes... She, you are. Thank you for uh, ve ve being very blatant about that. And I think we just found the ceremonial dagger. Oh, I don't know where I put it. Look, just behind me. But anyway, we are out of time for the day, so we're going to look into that in the next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Never Winter Night. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.